Hello and welcome back to the Team JDG channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my picks for the top cards to buy now. So first we've got the Gate Guardian pieces, Kaizujin, Saga Thunder, Suijin, and Gate Guardian itself. Um, they're not doing a whole lot in speed duels. Some people uh, have been like citing um, the Gate Guardian pieces um, as a counter for like Beatdown or Cyber Angels. But really this is just, I think they're going to go up because of the support for the TCG. So if this is something you're interested in getting, um, they're about two bucks a piece, a little under. Yeah, I would say get them now. Um, they're going to be harder to get later. Next we have Ojama King. They're going for about 50 cents. Very affordable to get yourself a place out of these. Um, I do not think they will be 50 cents forever, despite there being about a million listings currently. Like, there's thousands of these listed, apparently. So yeah, they're probably going to be 50 cents for a while, but because they are used in GOAT, I think if you pick up a place out of these, you'll be happy with yourself in a few years, when these are, you know, maybe five bucks a pop. Uh, next we have Lost Wind. Uh, Lost Wind's another card that isn't seeing much play in Speed Duel currently, but as even as soon as next set, this card could be a lot better if we get uh, good evil he good evil hero support or a good evil hero skill. I think this could become good sideboard. But long term, when we get to Synchros, this card's going to be crazy. And as we've seen from Battle City Commons that get good. They shoot up to four or five bucks if you look at Banisher or Widespread. Uh, they're not cheap. Right now you can get these for about a dollar, so you know three bucks for a playset is not too bad. Uh, next we have Shrink. This one's super affordable. I think they're around a quarter. Yeah, you can get a playset for under a dollar right now. Uh, I just think this card's going to be good for quite a while. So even if this card's only good for the next couple sets, that's a year. So, you know, spend 75 cents and then you have a good card for a, a year or so. Not bad. Um, Supply Squad is the next pick. This card did get a little buyout. Um, they're about, I think, 50 cents. Yeah, you can get them for about 50 cents right now. Um, you know, they were at a quarter, but somebody else had the same idea of buying these out. Uh, I would just get three. I wouldn't buy any of these cards out that I'm showing today. Uh, this is just for your own collection, so you pay less now, so you don't have to pay more later. Just get them now and be safe. I'm not suggesting you buy 20 supply squads. Um, that is bad for the community. Other players want these for cheap too. And it is potentially bad for you because uh, buyouts usually don't stick in trading card games. So if you're not able to move those extra copies you got, you kind of just wasted money. But yeah, I would say definitely get your three. Next we have Haunted Shrine. And whether you want to spend around seven for an Ultra or uh, what are the commons at? Under two bucks? Okay. Um, you know, whichever one you want to get. I think this card is going to be very good in the next set. We're getting vampires. So vampires are all zombies. This card lets you special summon a zombie from your graveyard twice. Uh, that's very good card economy, and it's a powerful effect. Keeps you alive on your opponent's battle phase, or makes lets you start off a push. Book of Life, pretty similar here. Um, it's a little bit cheaper, but it's a normal spell, so you can play it as soon as you draw it. And then the banishing a card from your a monster from your opponent's graveyard could be relevant in something like a mirror match or banish a shell from your opponent's graveyard potentially then we got vampire lord so this card's only about two bucks for an ultra um which isn't terrible um now vampire lord definitely needs some help to be good but if we get a good vampire genesis skill this card's immediately going to be played and an ultra for only two bucks is not bad. Now we've got double cost in. This is we're still in the zombie support. This is a 17 1650 zombie, uh, which you can bring back with Haunted Trine, Book of Life, Zombina, any of that, and then tribute it off for your two tribute vampire monster. I could see this being uh, very useful 
because its stats aren't bad. It does attack over a DD Warrior Lady or a Breaker without a counter, but then its effect is also potentially relevant. Uh, Dust Tornado, I only pulled up the super for this, which is a little bit more expensive, but uh, looks like you can pick them up for a lightly played for under four bucks, and then they quickly get expensive, but there's also a common printing of this as well. Dust Tornado is just incredibly useful right now. Um, so it, it's a trap, which makes it better than Night Beam immediately, in my eyes, because you can chain it to things like Blaze Accelerator, or you can pop a Roid Field spell with this. This card's just great. Uh, another thing is if you're playing Joey, um, Dust Tornado is super good, because say your opponent has two back row, and you attack and they activate a trap, you negate it with Joey. You can now Dust Tornado the other one, which the, may very well be a Wall of Disruption. And they're not going to be able to respond to your second attack now. So both of your attacks will go through with a Dust Tornado plus a Joey skill. Uh, then we have King of the Skull Servants. Um, card is a few dollars. Oh, there's only one listing for three dollars. Then they go up to seven bucks. But... With us getting uh, zombie support, I think now might be the right time to get this if you are interested in King of the Skull Servants, because we might get generic zombie support. Um, how powerful will it be? I'm not sure, but we could get something like Gozuki or Mizuki, and now you want to play King of the Skull Servants because it's more powerful. Um, next we have Amazonas Village. So I do think with there being a vam uh, sorry an Amazonist deck in the next set that we'll probably get reprints of almost all of the Amazonists that we already have, but as a common. So this is an ultra for only a dollar, and you don't even need three. But you know, if you want to play one or two of these, spend a couple bucks now as opposed to this maybe being a three or four dollar card when the set drops. Um then I have Windstorm here, which you can get commons for bulk if that's what you want to do. But I think the foils are about $3, and that, that's the version I would play. Um, so this is an interesting counter to Cloudians. There's, a, there's several counters to Cloudians. But if they, they get a good skill or a good card pool, you are going to want some way to deal with them. So this was just kind of the coolest. This is, this is like the only foil counter to that deck. Next we have Offerings to the Doomed. This card is seeing a ton of play uh, ever since, really, we got the Bandless and Erratas. Even before we got midterms, this card saw a ton of play. A lot of people are citing one, two, three of these, sometimes even maining these. Uh, it's, it's quick play removal, which we don't really have in speed duels other than this card. Um, I pulled up the Super because it's only like $1 more than the Common. So yeah, you could save a few dollars if you pick up a place out of the commons, but uh, I think the, the foil will have more longevity. And then finally, we have Ultra Red Eyes from Tournament Pack 1. So Red Eyes is also getting support, I believe, in the next set. So whether it's good or not, people are going to want to play it. Hopefully it's good. Um, but you can pick up Ultra Red Eyes for about $10 uh, shipped. That isn't too bad. Um, I do think if the, skill, if the skill or card pool is good for this deck, this card will not be as cheap as $10 anymore. But I think even if it is bad, people are still going to want this foil. I don't think you're going to lose money um, on this investment because... It's an iconic card from Yu-Gi-Oh. It, it's Red Eyes Black Dragon, or Red Eyes B Dragon now. Um, but I, I don't, I don't see buying things like Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Red Eyes as a waste of money. I think if you hold on to them, you'll be able to, at the very least, get your money back. Um, I mean, we already have sales for $11, so spending 10 not too bad. Those are my picks for today, so thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.